This family needs to set discipline and rules. So on my first day of teaching, I'm about to lay these down. The first one says no yelling or shouting. There's no need to raise your voice or yell because it can be very upsetting. Every household rule that gets broken, there's a consequence oh. for that. And if they refuse to listen and they carry on, then I want you to put them in that dining room, which is now going to be called the reflection room. The reflection room is a place where the girls can think about what they've done and why they're in there. If I behave like this, this is where I end up. That is setting firm boundaries. Last but not least, I brought out the princess chart for the family. Now, this chart is princesses' castles, and I've got these like, special ones. What are they, little princesses? They are princesses, but you know what? It's Princess Gabby. Mm. Yes, oh my word, it's Princess Gabby. <laughs> it's Princess Gabby. Wow. When you show Mummy and Daddy that you behave yourself, you're going to jump up onto the pathway, OK? Until you reach the doors of the castle. Because when you reach the doors of the castle, you get to do something that you want to do. It's sissy stuff. That means it's baby. Come and talk to me if you've got something to say. So I'm not going to talk to you across the kitchen, Megan. Megan had decided that she was too grown up for the princess chart and called it sissy. No. She wasn't having none of it. No. Right. Down. Megan pulled the um, crown off. Megan. Well, I think it's sissy stuff. Will that help? Megan. Princess reward chart was absolutely beautiful, but Megan didn't like it because it represented change. She didn't want to be involved. If you don't get it out of the bin, you're going to be in there. Me too. Then, in you go. Megan usually gets away with this kind of behaviour, but this time I told Paul to give her a warning. And when she didn't listen, she ended up in the reflection room. When you go into the room after a time, explain why you put her in there, OK? Yeah. And say to her, you want an apology for that behaviour. And if she delivers a sorry as angry, sorry, and she's really rude, say to her, no, that's not good enough. I want an apology properly, which is sorry. If she doesn't, then she stays in there. OK. OK? Certainly someone like Megan is to get an apology so she understands why because you, you, when you get the apology, you, you say to them, you understand why you're in a reflection room. The behaviour you're, you're showing is really unacceptable, and I want an apology. Sorry. I want a heartfelt sorry, not right, just so a sorry. Uh, how, does, how, will, how will Megan know how to give you a heartfelt sorry unless you have to show her? Say to her, look no, at me and say, I'm me, sorry. Look at me. So that she knows, otherwise she won't know. You need to look at me and say, I'm sorry, properly, uh, as if you mean it. I need it because I don't know! Megan, no. Right. No, we don't hit. Yes, Paul, I okay. do! Paul, Come on. Just she's not a member through. of the household, so I can do it! Follow through. Megan, start with your proper apology to me, and then we can go and get your glass of water, we can get the picture out of the bin, and then we can start again. I don't want the picture because it's this is stuff! Right, right. That, that, wait a minute, that's led into. That's led into engaging in conversation. I want an apology for that behaviour. She's either going to say she's sorry or she's not. What was that, Paul, that she said? I don't know. She doesn't know. Then she can sit in the reflection room and think yeah. about that next time. OK? It's all right. It's OK. It's angry. This is, this is Megan angry. Look. Angry. Look. This is Megan angry. But she needs to know boundaries. She was very aggressive towards Joe. I didn't expect that. Um, but then th things are changing big time in our house, so and that might, that's very hard for an eight or nine year old to, to come to terms with. My friend thinks you're a and so do I. She's learning and, and she knows that she can't get away with that unacceptable behaviour anymore, that there's going to be a consequence. She's going to be in there all night, isn't she? 